We're going to go over a quicker way to rearrange columns in a spreadsheet. Have you ever downloaded a spreadsheet repeatedly? Maybe you have a monthly report or even a weekly report, but the column arrangements is not how you like it and you need to change it every single time. Well, there's a quick way you can do it and also incorporate another XLOOKUP to make sure that uh, you can do it even more quickly. Here you see a spreadsheet that has the columns in an order that you may not like. So what I like to do is import a tab or a worksheet that has the, the headers in the order in which I would like them to appear. So that's right over here. So you see here under the headings, this is the order I like. And, the, and here on, in column B, they're numbered respectively. So one through 10. And right here, we have the XLOOKUP formula that I will use to quickly populate the number of the headings above the original spreadsheet. And I'll show you that now. So we're going to insert a row at the top, a new row one. Then we go back to the other tab. We're going to copy this XLOOKUP formula. We will go over this um, at the end. But I do have a couple videos that cover XLOOKUPs. Um, one with multiple conditions and there's a short. Okay, so we're going to copy everything from the equal sign on. That apostrophe in the beginning allows it to display without executing. As you see here. All right, go back to the tab, click in A1, insert the formula, hit enter. Now you see county should be in the sixth column. So now we're going to drag this across So now we have the numbers above the headings in the order that we want. So next step is to sort the table. And you do that by clicking on the data tab. Then sort. Now you'll see here it defaults to column. You want to change column to row and you can do that by clicking on the options button and then click on sort to left then click OK. Now you see a change from column to row. And which row do we want to sort? Row one. Click OK. So you'll see here it moved all of the columns into the order I like instantly. It's beautiful. We're going to go over the XLOOKUP formula I use to quickly number the columns so we can rearrange them quickly. You, you don't need to use the XLOOKUP formula. You can just enter the numbers yourself manually. But over time, you probably just want to just save those two minutes and just use this formula to just quickly do it, especially if you have a lot of columns that you're rearranging. All right, so let's get started with the XLOOKUP. I'm going to enter a new row again. Equal sign, XLOOKUP, open paren, lookup value. What are we going to look up? We want to look up A2, or the, in this case, first name, then comma, lookup array. What do we want to look up? We want to look up the header columns, or the headings column here in the other tab. Then you click on A to select the entire column, and then comma again to move to the next part of the formula, return array. What do we want to bring over to the other spreadsheet? In this case, the number in which it falls. So click on B, then comma. If not found, what do you want it to say? I like saying not found. So you just enclose that in quotation marks. Then comma, we're going to look for exact match, so zero. Comma again, we're going to choose one, search first to last, and then close paren, then hit enter. So you see, this one is already finished. It's in the order that we want, but we can confirm it. And, ah, I'm glad this mistake happened. Now, a very important part of the formula, you'll see here, this A and A and B and B, they're, um, in the beginning, they have a dollar sign next to it. So dollar sign A, colon, dollar sign A, and then again for the Bs. That locks it in place. When you drag a formula over, you know, Excel tries to be clever and it tries to anticipate what you're trying to do. 
So you, you'll, you'll see here in B1, it changed AA here to BB, but we don't want it to change. We want it to stick with just A to the, to the bottom here, because that's all we want. So what it was doing, it was selecting all of B, and then all of C. So it ruins the formula. That's why you need to lock it in place. You always want to look at column A and you always want to pull from column B. You don't want Excel to help you and move things around. So let me show you how to quickly enter dollar signs. You click inside here, A colon A, and hit the F4 key on your keyboard. It will automatically enter the dollar signs. And then we do it again for BB, then hit enter. Now let's drag it over and let's see what it does. Now we have our numbers. Let's center this so you can see all of them. All right. And then again, you go through the whole sorting mechanism, but it's in the order that we like. Hey, let's see if we want to go the other way. 10 through one. So click on data, sort. As you can see, we're still at row because we're still in the same document. So now we're gonna sort by row one and then Let's do largest to smallest. Click OK. Then boom. This is amazing. I This saves me so much time. And my life is no longer a headache every time I have to run this report. Not this report. This is one I downloaded from a website where you can get dummy data for analysts. Not that I'm an analyst. I'm more of a enthusiast, an Excel enthusiast. I wouldn't call myself a you know, a guru of business analytics. All right, well, that's everything I have for today. Please leave a comment below if you found this helpful or if you have a question how to implement this in your spreadsheet, hit like and subscribe. It really helps the challenge. Uh, it really helps the channel out. Thank you.